Hi everyone, in this tutorial we will learn how to create smoking head effect. Let's click subscribe and follow more new videos. In this picture, we have a handsome man in nice suit. And how could we replace his head with smoke? First, I use pen tool and draw a shape around the man's neck. I select gradient for our shape. You can hold control or command and move your mouse to change the point of this shape in its right position. Turn back in gradient. I use eyedropper to select the dark color of the collar. We could see that our man is now behind the suit. It looks like we have separated his suit out of him perfectly. And now, I remove the man. Go to select lasso tool. And draw a selection around his head. Then right click and select fill options. Choose content aware and click OK. It's not good as I thought. We should use clone stamp to remove this mess. Let's stop here and click subscribe and follow more videos. Now skip watching our tutorial. Right click and choose appropriate size for your cursor. With the clone stamp tool selected, position the cursor over the area you want to clone and then alt click or option click to define the clone source. Go to select and choose deselect. It's good, isn't it? Now I go to file, open and select a smoke image. Then click open. Move the smoke image to our picture. Go to edit, free transform. Scale the image a bit smaller like this. Then I select screen blend mode. Create a mask in layer 1. Hold Ctrl or Command and click in Shape 1 thumbnail. Go to Select and choose Inverse. Select Brush Tool and fill black color in layer 1's mask to erase some unused part. Select, deselect. Continue, I open another smoke image. As previous step, I move the smoke image to our picture and scale it smaller. Go to edit, free transform. Scale the image with the right size.
create a mask in layer 2. Hold Ctrl or Command and click in Shape 1 thumbnail. Go to Select and choose Inverse. Erase some unused parts by filling black color and mask of layer 2 with brush tool. Go to Select, Deselect. It looks very nice. I click an adjustment button and select vibrance. Reduce vibrance, minus 50. Again, click an adjustment and select gradient. I replace black color with dark yellow. Select Reverse and then click OK. Go to Blend Box and select Soft Light Mode. Reduce Opacity, 72%. It looks good. Final steps, I have to sharpen details in the picture. Press and hold the Ctrl, Shift, Alt keys, and then tap the letter E. Go to Filter, Other slash High Pass. Radius, 3 pixels. select hard light and blend mode. Continue, I go to filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. Amount, 34%, radius, 1 pixels. We could see that our picture has been more sharp. This tutorial is very simple. I hope you love this video. Click subscribe and follow more videos in this channel. See you next time. Thank you and take care.